G'day there, Aussie Mark here. Thanks for stopping by my video. As you can see today, we're doing a copycat video. I've been inspired by a YouTuber called Skylar Thomas, and I'm gonna put his link down in the description so you can go visit his site and see all the clever tricks that he does. This is just one of them that's been quite popular, and I thought I'd give it a go. I don't pretend that it's anywhere near as good as his, but it's my first attempt, so um, bear with me. And let me show you how I did that trick that you saw at the beginning. Of course, it's a green screen, everybody knows that. But the trick is to get the hand outside the computer screen um, and still be able to uh, not, not have to rotoscope. Um, don't know what rotoscope is? Well, rotoscoping is where you actually have to mask virtually every frame one by one in order to make the effect seem real. This is not a rotoscoping exercise and it didn't take me too long at all. Let's jump in and see how we go. So the first thing I did was open up my editing software and as you probably know, most of the time I use um, Magic's Movie Edit Pro 2013 Plus. So the first um, bit of footage that I shot was simply a, a fairly close shot of the monitor and myself on the side. Now of course the um, things that you need to concern yourself with here are making sure that the um, the below, or sorry, the um, the actual monitor itself is perfectly horizontal uh, in terms of uh, squaring off against the bottom of the screen. That just makes it that much easier when you go and use your green screen uh, to, to match the two horizontal lines together. And the other thing to be careful of here is to not um, actually put yourself across the monitor. So I get very close to the corner of the monitor but um, you'll notice that I never actually cross it. And that's because I'm not putting something behind this particular piece of footage, I'm actually putting it in front. So if I um, just run through this, you'll see it just simply is me looking at the camera and looking back at the screen. It doesn't really matter what's on the screen. So after I'd shot that piece of footage, then the next thing I did was grab this piece of footage, which is... Um, whoops, so we'll just mute that one there so you can see and I'm going to ungreen screen this so that you can see it. Um, let's go back to chroma key, we'll go down to there, to chroma key and okay. So that's the piece of footage that I filmed and as you can see I've got a um, horizontal line there because the piece of green cloth I've just thrown that over uh, a board that I'd balanced between two chairs made sure that that line was pretty close to horizontal itself and then I've set up myself some boxes underneath this green screen so it's just slightly lower than that top line sort of uh, trying to match up roughly the distance that it might be from the monitor which would be on that line down to the ground so that's all I did for that. Um, now it is fairly important that you get the distance from there to there right. I went and placed the beer in front of the monitor and took a photo that gave me an idea of just how the, um, the size would fit so it didn't look too small or too big. So then once I've done that of course and if I punch through this you'll see I just I'm walking across here reaching over picking that up having a swig and then off I go. So then I just go and green screen that. In other words, I hit the chroma key button in this particular piece of software. I'm simply going to adjust these down until the green is gone, as you can see. And it's just about there. Um, that's close enough for me. Now you might be wondering, well, why is it um, still stuck on either side? If I turn back the underneath layer, you'll see it's covering too much of it. Now that's where this th the third part of this trick comes in. It's masking off the bits that you don't want. So let me explain that a little bit more for you. Um, I'll just remute that. What I did here was I actually took a, um, a frame, a single frame, saved a single frame and in Movie Edit Pro you can actually go to File, Export Movie, Single Frame as a JPEG. So that's what I did for that and once I'd done that it then, um, I then imported it across into a piece of software that you've all heard me mention before, paint.net, um, which is very close to Photoshop. Well, not really, but a hell of a lot better than uh, having to pay for Photoshop. And um, 
what I did was I just made a screen dump out of that and then I turned that into a mask and how I do that is I simply take the bit that I want to um, be seen or the bit that I want to show through um, I'm actually going to draw that up as um, white as you can see here I drew that up as white and then uh, I also painted in this area here where the beer is actually going to move backwards and forwards. So uh, the rest of that, the bit on the sides is masked out, the bit underneath here is masked out, and this is the only bit that we're going to see. Now if we go back here you'll see that's it without, and that's it with it all coloured in. So I'll import the mask, which is this one here. As you can see that's what it looks like. Bring that down to the end, stretch it out so that it fits, and now if we have a look, um, you can see that's me having a swig of beer, but you can't see the bit that's the first video that I put in. That's because I haven't turned the mask into the alpha layer yet. So I'll go over to effects, make sure I've highlighted the mask that I created, and click on alpha. And there we go. So the um, the white bit will show what's below it and the black part of the mask will show what's above it. So, and I've now got um, my effect. If you have a look here, if I scroll through, the beer appears to be sitting on the table until I reach through, have a swig, and there we go. That's how I made my copycat video of Skylar Thomas's video. And he based his, of course, on the world famous Zach King. If you don't know about him, please go and check out Zach King. He is a worldwide phenomenon with his fancy editing, and he's been uh, employed by numerous large corporations and made to make ads on TV. I'm sure you've probably seen some of them already. So, um, stay with me and um, I hope you enjoyed this bit of, bit of silliness. I'm Aussie Mark. Please give me a comment. Um, let me know if you've ever tried to do something like Zach King or Skylar Thomas and possibly um, put in um, some kind of a, a link and let us know so we can go look at your videos. Thanks very much again. Please um, subscribe if you haven't already done so and click that bell. You know that that'll give you the opportunity to be notified next time I put up a video, don't you? Okay, bye for now.